We are heading to Singapore. Welcome to the vlog. We are heading to Singapore soon. Yes, I'll be taking you along with me. I'm heading to Singapore for a couple of weeks. The company that I work for is based out of Singapore. So I do get the chance to travel there quite regularly. It's kind of like my second or third home away from home. So I'll be sharing all of my favorite places to visit, eat, drink and shop as well as sharing my experience living and working there and some of the cultural differences, some tips and advice if you may be heading to Singapore soon or looking to live and work there. It is late in the afternoon and my flight is early tomorrow morning and I have not packed a single thing. One of the challenges I have to pack both for work as well as the weekend and it is also really, really hot in Singapore. So it's gonna be quite tricky trying to find corporate outfits that still look cute without sweating my butt off. A bit of a disclaimer, this unfortunately will not be an aesthetic packing video. I love watching motivational packing videos but don't have enough time so this is going to be quite frantic. Hopefully I don't forget anything and we are good to go. It's going to be so much fun so join me for the next 24 hours as we get ready to travel to Singapore. We've made some progress. I have laid all of the clothes that I think I'm going to be taking out on my bed into piles. Both my weekend pile, my work pile as well as separating my shoes, underwear and accessories. I have just realized there is a lot of pink in here. Hmm, everything is pink but I'm kind of like a bower bird that just gravitates towards pink and it definitely lifts my mood. One thing that I am packing that I want to show you is these cute little ballet flats. I am definitely a flats girl. I hate feeling uncomfortable even for work. Now I've just got to fit everything in here into the suitcase. Let's pack all this away. onto the bathroom for some last minute toiletries. I've pre-packed my hair care products, my makeup brushes, my makeup as well as my toiletries and I keep my toothbrush in a separate bag as well. I love collecting mini sizes of my favorite beauty products so when I travel I feel like it's time to bring out my whole mini collection. Just sharing some of the things I have in here. My favorite shampoo and conditioner at the moment. I actually really like the Mermaid range. It smells like I've just stepped out of a salon. And I mean, how cute are these little bottles? When I run out, I just pour some of the big size into the smaller bottles. For beauty products, I just usually like to take a big vanity case so that we can just pop this on the bathroom cabinet and it's just like I'm at home. Oh, my new favorite thing is individual lashes. I am a complete noob when it comes to putting on false strip lashes. It's like magic. I don't know how people put lashes on. I just think it's such a talent. The only way I can manage to get lashes on is if they're individual tiny lashes. The last big item is my toiletry, so this is all my skincare, deodorant, body wash, face wipes. Ooh, absolutely love this Rio de Janeiro body deodorant. It smells exactly like the range, so a light, sweet, floral, fruity smell. Actually, I might put that in my carry-on. Take that out. One thing I am loving at the moment, which I've just discovered, is the quarterly skincare range. I absolutely love it. I'm so sad that I didn't discover it sooner. So this helps with hyperpigmentation and evening out my skin tone. And this is retinol 
to help with fine lines and preventing wrinkles. This is made from grapeseed oil. They are so lightweight that I can wear it both day and night. And my skin just absolutely soaks this up. I love it. So I definitely will be trying more from that range. I'll definitely be taking those with me as well. Okay, we are getting there. Last but not least, I will be packing my carry-on bag. I picked up the COS Oversized Quilted Crossbody Bag. I first saw this in black a couple months ago and thought it looked pretty cool. So when it came out in the white color, I was super excited. This has been sold out forever and it's finally come back in stock. It feels like a big puffy blanket. It has a zip closure with one big compartment. There is a little zip pocket on the inside. There's a little secret pocket on the side as well. So that's for like storing your passport. I think this is gonna be so cute as a carry-on travel bag. hours earlier just so I could do a little bit of shopping so if you ever do fly through Sydney International do make sure you come a little bit early so you can check out some of the shops here was really really good so okay where is the gate um, oh my gosh it says it's boarding was later and we've arrived in Singapore. Oh, I can feel the heat already. It feels feeling pretty fresh still just so glad to be back in Singapore let me give you a room tour of home for the next few weeks before I settle in and while it's still nice and tidy so we're staying here on Beach Road so it's pretty central I mean everywhere is pretty central in Singapore it's just one big city nowhere's too far from anywhere room tour you walk on in and then we have just a big open space, a nice big bed. <laughs> I've already put out Miss Dior there. And then come here, we have a couch and a coffee table, just a big TV. It's quite a big hotel room. Coffee station, cupboard, a big mirror, which is always welcome. And then just the bathroom. 
Wow, the seats on the shower. That is actually quite useful for girls who need to shave their legs because I'm super clumsy. And the lighting in here, there is nothing better than great lighting in a hotel bathroom. So that is the room tour. I'm going to freshen up and then explore a little bit of Singapore. I hope you enjoyed the travel with me to Singapore. I am absolutely knackered, so I'm just gonna wash this face off and then jump into bed. And definitely stay tuned for more adventures and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.